Hello, Kuku. Victory Welch from Real Estate Investment TV. And today, I'm at Fepi's apartment right here. And also to my right town is Island Gulf Estate, where I'll be taking you to. Located in Abidjan, just a few minutes drive to the expressway. So today I'm going to be giving us updates of what is achievable here. So looking around, looking around, this entrance is to the Fulfield apartment. For the Fairfield Apartments, for clients who does not have the time to undergo construction work from the root to the finishing, but you want apartments, that you can get here. You can buy apartments here. Then for those of you who have the luxury of time to buy a plot of land, Carry out your construction from the foundation to the roof and all the finishing. Then you can buy a plot of land in Eastland Gulf Estate. In no short time, I'll be taking you inside to the Welcome Center where we'll meet the engineer that is in charge of the estate and he's going to be giving us lots and lots of information you would love. I'm doing all this for all my clients here in Nigeria and in the diaspora. I promise to bring you real estate development updates that are secure and profitable in strategic location. And this is one of such. In fact, the achievement here is top notch. It is world class. By the time the engineer on site will be giving us this information, you will understand. So, this is Island Gulf Estate. And this is the entrance to the exit. So, as I said earlier, in, at Island Gulf Estate, you can buy your plot of land and build what you want to do. For those of you who have the luxury of time to monitor your construction work. So join me as I take you inside to give you further details that you need to secure an investment here. I tell you, don't delay to secure an investment here. Already people who invested few months back, they've gotten some returns on their investment already so stay tuned with me as i take you inside so i'm taking us to the welcome center the welcome center is where your visitors waits for you while they come visiting before they are granted access to you so at the welcome center we'll be speaking with the engineer and the facility manager so that they can give us all the necessary details wow fantastic. so so yeah i am yeah i am with um engineer Gabriel and he will be giving us all the details we need to get. Fantastic. Hope I'm safe when you walked into the welcome center. <laughs> okay, that's good, um, but um, it's part of my culture to always show you the layout so that you can see on paper. I know you've seen a whole lot outside, but um, you also need to see a layout. That gives you an impression as a subscriber that you're going to an ST that is planned already. And uh, it's quite different from what we're trying to do things differently. And if you need to do things differently, then there are some certain things that you need to do to show that you're doing things differently. So I have before me the layout covering for the three acres of land. That's about 175,000 square meter. Now the beauty about this layout is that you're seeing a community. 
and that's why um, a community or a city and that's why most times um, I get to meet realtors and say oh I'm going to Fairfield City or I'm going to New Lagos City now that name came um, from feedback from our realtors our subscribers and also our clients because um, what we're trying to do is much like a city considering the kind of infrastructures that we're providing now let's look at them and the layout now we're currently here which is the welcome center it's always the best point of call when you visit the estate remember it's a call-in estate where you're expected to call whoever you're coming to see now upon clearance from the security agents um, you walk into the um, welcome center to get a pass to enable you go visit anyone at the apartment section. Okay. Now the welcome center is divided into three. It has the reception where we are currently is the reception. We have the waiting room and we also have the facility office at the other end. Now the waiting room gives you the privilege for guys that are always, they love private life. They don't want people to come into the apartment. You can simply come have a brief meeting with whoever I want to see at the waiting room and disengage and you find your way back to your apartment without having your visitor come to your apartment. Now the facility office over there is going to serve for our facility management officers. They're expected to be here for 24 hours just in case there's an eventuality. So you can see it's much like a fully service estate where you get all the infrastructures at the back of the call. So you have over here, the apartment being centralized. We have three courts in the estate. We have court A and we have court B and court C. Now, at the end of this year, the last quarter of this year, we'll be set to deliver the first 152 units of apartment to our first subscribers. And that's why we're working day and night. And we have about 207 site workers. And they run two shifts, morning and night, just to see how we can meet up with our deadline of delivery and we'll also change our construction style what the kind of construction style that we're doing is to enable us deliver using the community style delivery now in our construction style we're building we're also providing infrastructure we must have seen our drainages outside as of today we've done about 485 meters in terms of drainage external drainage internally We've also commenced our internal drainage. We've done about 128 meters two-sided drainage, and it's done in such a way that you have slab covers on them. It forms walkway. People can walk on them conveniently. And then what we're trying to do is to establish that you can live around this axis without having flood. People have notions that ah, a jaleki is always flood. So for us, we're trying to erase that notion from the minds of people that if you do things right, you can avoid flood, and that's why we're creating all the drainage parts already. And to crown it all, we are so lucky, we have about, um, we have, we have a, um, a lagoon close to us, about 905 meters away from us, we have a lagoon where we have a water flow to. It's not all about doing drainages, it's where, it the question is, where is that water going, going to? So for us, we're lucky, we have a drainage flow towards the lagoon, about 905 meters away from here. So good, let's look at the map again. Now, it's a community style living, it's a multifamily apartment. And when you hear the word multi-family apartment, you know that it is where you have multi-family come to live together, cohabit together, and enjoy all the basic infrastructure. Like I said, we have them divided into three courts, A, B, and C. We have things that can also make our subscribers enjoy their stay. For instance, social area. We have playground for children. We have a recreational building for adults where they're expected to have their gym done. We have the sports arena which we have activated. We brought it closer to where we have the shopping mall and we're relocating the shopping mall inward for people to enjoy their shopping. We have a service yard over here. Um, our service yard is um, basically uh, it's a three in one service yard where we're going to be having a sewage system, one of the best technology in the world. And you have it's, it's, it's called the activated slush technology where it recycles all the wastewater and feeds it back for external use for maybe for washing of flowers. And for washing of cars and also for washing of flowers. Now we have a central sewage system, which I've just spoken about. We have a, a central water treatment plant. It's about 40,000 gallons. That's about 260,000 liters of water every day. We only have 
uh, independent power, which is a one megawatt gas turbine. A one megawatt gas turbine is a whole lot. It's about 10,000 kilovolts. It's enough to power 900 homes. Remember, we're going to be having 354 apartments in Fairfield apartment. I'm also going to be having green areas where you can buy land and build on your own. That has to do with East Land of Estate. We have a school as well within the estate for ages one to six. Remember, it caters for both the young and old. The estate caters for both the young and the old. We have a school for ages one to six. We have playground for children. We have courtyard where children can also ride their bicycles around and play around. We have car spaces for 300 cars. Then we have the artificial lake, man-made lake, where you can sit down and enjoy the cool of the evening with your family and friends. You can't live here and have depression. You cannot live here and think of committing suicide because you'll be living where you can have a whole lot of activities being done and you have people around which you can also talk to. Then that has to do with the apartment. Then the beauty about what is going on in terms of apartment is that one, you have the ability to own this apartment through flexible means. What do I mean by that? It's an off land project, so you're expected to do a down payment, so 20% of the total value and spread the balance within one year without interest. Certainly without interest. Despite the rate of inflation, despite the differentials in terms of uh, building materials, we still give people opportunity to own an apartment without interest. And I know, and that's why it's already speaking for itself because even most of our clients are from diaspora. Are from that, that mo mo mostly diaspora because, you know, um, if you look at the differential, the diaspora client will always want to buy where there is no interest. So, and that is our, our point. We're trying to sell apartment one that you can own flexibly. We're also trying to bring our apartment at command value in terms of rental value. That basically cash flow apartments. That's for the apartment section. Then we have the lands. Now, um, you understand that there are some people that might not really have the time to build. So we have apartments for them. And there are some people that they want their own gates. They want their own space on their own. They cannot, they, they want their own space. So we also give people, we give up, uh, the subscribers opportunity to own a land also through a flexible means. Through a flexible means. Yeah. The beauty about East Land Grove is that it's well planned. We have spaces for all house types and we allocate based on house type. We allocate based on house type, which is well planned. And we allocate based on house type. Now we have spaces for duplexes, we have spaces for bungalows and for block of flats. So it covers, you do not have restriction to as to getting your dream house built. But what we do is that we allocate based on house type because they said it's well planned. And besides, it also commands value. Uh, it will be very unfair. You drive into an estate, you see bungalows, you see houses being littered all around. But in our own case, it's well planned so that it can command value. It probably has social area where we're having a lakeside living as well. We have a recreational park and we have a golf course. Now, the beauty is that um, it gives you a flexible means of also owning a land where you do a down payment of say 3 million naira and spread the balance within one year. Now, the game is that if you're kind enough, as a subscriber, you're kind enough to do a deposit of 4 million naira, you get qualified for, for this all expense paid through to Ghana. Please, can you come? Can you say that again? Louder. Yeah. Okay. I said, if you're kind enough as a subscriber, you're subscribing into this project, and you're kind enough to deposit 4 million naira, then you get qualified for 4 days all expense paid through. To Ghana, it's called a Papa Flex. It's a promo that is ongoing now. So we have the green area, it comes in two clusters. We have the premium and we have the regular. In terms of plot, you have the premium, we have the regular. The premium, you have a timeline payment of 60 days. You pay within 60 days and you get your allocation within 60 days. You have it also attached to that package. You also have the right to choose your plot. You have the advantage of choosing your plot. So that has to do with Islam, but then it has a, a regular plot. Now the regular gives you, now premium is 15 million, regular 13.5 million. Now the regular gives you opportunity to spread your payment within one year. You do a down payment of say 3 million naira. If you can do 4 million naira, you get qualified for a quarter flex. So you do a down payment of 3 million naira and spread the balance within one year with no, without interest. You have a provisional survey 
attached to the package. You have a free architectural drawing attached to the package. You do not have the right to choose your plot. You come on your allocation day and you find your plot being allocated to you upon completion of payment. Before now, we've allocated 53 plots of land and people have already commenced work and they're building some as and filling. And then some already doing their soil test and also are waiting their, their results. So we have East Land Gold, we have Fairfield still selling, much more selling, much more selling. Okay, so for the sake of um, of my clients, I will want to ask a few questions. Okay, good. So that um, you can shed more light on the three areas. Okay. Now, um, the plot sizes. What are the plot sizes that we have here? Okay, we have 500 square meter. Whether you're buying premium or regular, then we probably have 250 square meter for regular. Okay, so um, for the 250 square meter, what can a client achieve on the 250 okay, square meter? Um, with the 250 square meter, the 250 square meter can achieve a lot. You will have a four bedroom duplex on the 250 square meter. You have a situation where you have your living room, and your kitchen, and your visitor room, and you have the first lap, half slab, then you have three rooms on the on the um, on the slab on the first floor. So you have three rooms up, you have one room down, you have your living room, you have your kitchen. You could also have a foyer whereby one gets into the foyer before getting to your living like room. Okay. Then you have car space for two cars now. Okay. Then for investors who wants to get say the five hundred square meter and they also want to live and also Generate income from it. So, what will you advise on a 500 square meter? For a 500 square meter, I will advise you to uh, maybe detached, fully detached duplexes. The reason why I advise that is because if you are doing block of flats, then you have you have to compete. You have a whole lot to compete with because you'll be competing with us. I'm sorry, you'll be competing with us, but we're doing block of flats already. Okay. And uh, <laughs> you might not be able to compete <laughs> because you, you can imagine how we source our materials to build. So our advice is to do um, detach, fully detached to places where you rent because there are a group of people that may want to have their space. Considering the kind of infrastructures that are coming in, you want to have their space. We have had a situation uh, where one of our subscribers bought 250 square meter, four, uh, four plots, and four, two, two, fifty, four units of 250 square meter. And uh, what he wants to do, he wants to do um, two places, four, and sell three and give one. Okay. He has the idea. He has the idea that he cannot complete the first. It's not as if he cannot build, he can build one. What is it? What is the leverage? What are you going to be coaching on? Okay. So on a five hundred square meter, one can achieve two fully detached, four bedroom detached, detached, detached places. Car spaces for two cars. Okay, so um another question. You made you made mention about the lake, right? Yes. Okay. If someone wants to get a plot close to the lake, mm -hmm. does that fall under the premium, or Good. or what is the advantage? It falls under the premium. Okay. So those because you have a, under premium, you have a lake view or a golf view. Okay. So under the premium, you have a lake view or a golf view. Okay. So where do we have the 250 square meters on? Okay, the... we we'll have them on close to e. These are 250 square meters. That 250 square meters. You understand this more? You have your 250 square meters on close to e. Okay. Those are two, that section is for 250 square meters. I think we we'll have about six there. Then we're also going to be having 250 around here as well. 250 there. Okay. Then all through this way, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250. Okay. So is there a now you have we have Fairfield apartments, we have um Island Gulf Estate. Is there a restriction between those staying in the Green apartment side that is built by the company and mm. the Island Gulf that is built by the mm. individual? Now, if you look around, you discover that there's no restriction. We're not barricading one part of the estate from the other. One, we want to see how we can also decongest the estate because considering the numbers of people that are living here, we're seeing how we can also decongest. So we have um, Second Avenue Road opening up to East Land Road. We probably have the Fairfield Boulevard Road. 
But the beauty is that they are all connected. So you know they are all going to be cohabiting together without restriction. They, they, you do not have restriction to also to the social area. You also have restriction to us, to the infrastructures that we're bringing in, in terms of electricity. We're going to be feeding the entire landmass, including the green um, area, and also the apartment section. So there's no restriction. You can move around, go towards the golf course. You can also come to the recreational area to have your gym done. You can also move um, around maybe to the to the um, Fairfield Lake. Um, so we don't have restrictions. They are all going to be living like a community. And that's the beauty about community style living, whereby you come together, live together as a community and enjoy all the basic infrastructure without, um, without so much restriction or without so much friendly charges. So how about the security system? How is it going to be? Now, um, we know security is key. It's very paramount. And for us, we have 12 security guards currently on standby. We have the civil defense four. We have um, mobile police four. They're expected to be here for life. Then we have a private guard. Now, the itinerary is that we have is a calling estate, so we have another guard, we have um, another private guard at the Greenwood estate, and um, we're also replicating that same guard within our own co um, confinement here. Now the beauty is that they have their CUG lines; they can always communicate. When you call it from the gate, you have your clearance there. They communicate and share security intelligence together. You know? So we have those civil defense and mobile police in charge of the external security. And the standard boundaries has to be secure. Now we're also intensifying more by providing motion cameras. We know, considering the landmass, it's, it's it's not going to be easy to have these men, these foot soldiers, move around to you know to secure. So we're we're, we're having motion cameras. As of today, we're already having two motion cameras. The expectation is to have more than five motion cameras. Okay. The estate. And the beauty is that we have a facility management office for security strictly for security where we're going to be having all these cameras in as well to that point they'll have a personnel that will just sit down there and monitor using technology monitor the entire estate and what is any crime can always retrieve those footages and use that for basis of investigation wow wow is it this this so shows security is paramount. yes it's, it's a really planned top estate notch. Okay. top notch Security top notch, water portable water uh, the, top the, notch. The grounds, the floor, is it uh, concretized or something? Okay, for a major road like the Fairfield Boulevard Road and the Second Avenue Road, the Second Avenue Road is about um, 202 meters in terms of stretch. Then we have the Fairfield Boulevard Road, which is 200 meters. Where is the Fairfield Boulevard Road? This is the Fairfield Boulevard Road. We've done about 108 meters in terms of um, concretized road, and the uh, expectation is to do it all the way down towards um, close 3B, towards close 3B, terminates on road A and road B. So we're going to get it concretized and we're also establishing drainages. As of today, we've done about 93 meters in terms of, um, that's talking about Second Avenue Road, we've done 93 meters drainage. And if you look at the drainage, the way it's being done, you have slab covers on them, forms walkway for people to move. Also present the this from going to block. Okay, please, let's have a clearer explanation. What do you mean by concretized? Now, it's a concrete enabled road. If you're conversant with what Dangote is doing on your Papa Oshu Express. Okay. Now, a concretized road, we're not just pouring concrete on the floor. We have a matting, we have a TMT rod matting already with rod on the ground. We have a damp proof membrane already on the ground as well. They are just black metals that damp proof membrane to ensure that you don't have um, water come up again on the surface of the road. They will now concretize using concrete. You know, you have your mixture of cement, granite, and sand you know, running through on the road, concretizing the road with about 200 mm thickness. So, so it's like not just the, the thickness is about 200 mm. Uh, so like how long do you think this will last before maintenance? Okay, for us, we are, we are particular about value. Okay. And things that can stand the test of time. The concretized road will last for 35 to 40 years wow. before we call for maintenance. Wow. And the beauty is that before we did that, we already established slips below. Slips? Yes, all, all those slips and manhole where we can always do our electrical M&E. Okay. We can pass all our cables. We will not come back again to come and start cracking, cracking the road. So we've done all those things work below, all the M and E work below. We've done established things with established man already. Wow. We'll have your road concretized. Wow. Then another thing I noticed here, this is really a large community, and um, 
early in the morning, especially on a Monday morning, people will definitely be in a rush to leave the estate right. and hit the major road. That's so right. what's the plan to ensure that there's no congestion in within Okay, the so um, for us, um, in a bid of ensuring that um, there's no, we don't have um, um, bottlenecks as to how people move in the estate. And that's why we've created another road here, the Second Avenue Road. Okay. It's also open. You can drive from the apartment section you come out this way and drive out this way. I could choose to also drive. If I'm staying here, I could choose to also drive out from here. Okay. I could choose to drive all the way from here and use this road. I could also, you know, and the roads are wide enough. For instance, the Fairfield Boulevard is about um, 12 meter width. It's 12 meter in terms of width. So it's wide enough. Mm -hmm. We have way in, we have six meters for people coming in. We have six meters for people going out. Why we have the second avenue is about nine meters in terms of width. So opens out for people to come out and also go in because um, the bid will be to decongest the entire estate. So we have two routes where you can find your way out. I remember you have the same travel time from the estate gate about four minutes drive to the Lake Express Raceway. Four Is it minutes going to drive. Be on alternative road to the now, if as you're going out to, we have another road, a simple road. Um, at your right side, yeah. where we are having an electrification post yes. all the way down from rain or where it's coming from. That road takes it takes another four minutes to rain or you drive through Shortwell Estate, just directly opposite rain oil. Okay. That's going to serve as an alternative. That's yeah. going to also going to be one of our major roads because it's wider compared to the one that you must have coming from. Okay. okay. Well, is, is it, it accessible now? Yes, it's accessible with an SUV. Mm -hmm. But in future, um, we intend to open it up. We are going to be doing that with um, Chevron Cooperative. We call it have um, a bottling company around the short real estate. Then the occupants of um, short real estate. We do visibility as well. Um, short real. This way. Okay, the the land opposite the opposite short Opposite is Chevron Cooperative. Cooperative. We have a road that leads to short real estate. We don't visibility on that road. And uh, we promise to come to that. Okay, so close to close to Fairfield Apartment and Eastland Golf Estate, you are going to be having neighbors from Chevron. Sure, sure. <laughs> you understand what that sure, means. Sure. So you don't need to waste time. As you are watching the video, please start calling me so that you can start investing. So, um, engineer is going to take us around also. Um, let's see the environment and um, how far work has been going. So, stay with me.